Hi, thank you for joining me around the fire on this cool night. A lot of times when we sit around campfires, we're there with friends. We will roast some marshmallows together, maybe sing some songs together, just enjoy talking around the fire as friends. Tonight though, we're talking about Peter, the Apostle Peter. Peter was a follower of Jesus. The night that Jesus was in the upper room with his disciples, Peter said he would never fall away from Jesus. In fact, Peter said he would die with Jesus before he would ever deny him or fall away from him. But Jesus had told him, Peter, I tell you the truth, before the rooster crows tonight, you will disown me three times. After Jesus was arrested, he was brought to the courtyard of the high priest. And Peter followed along because he loved the Lord. But when Peter got into the courtyard, there was a fire there where all the people were keeping warm on that cool night. And Peter was not there with friends. Peter was there with enemies, with people who did not love the Lord Jesus. And if they knew that Peter was with the Lord Jesus, they would not love Peter either. Peter sat there with all those people and kept himself warm at the fire, waiting to see what would happen with Jesus. While Peter was sitting around the fire with enemies, Jesus was over there in the courtyard of the high priest. And at this really late hour, they put Jesus on trial. It wasn't a fair trial. They knew what they wanted to do to Jesus. They hated him, and they were actually looking for a way to kill Jesus. They brought some false witnesses forward. They told lies about Jesus, but none of their testimony even agreed. Then some men came forward and say, well, we heard Jesus say that he's going to destroy the temple and then in three days build it up again. But even that testimony wasn't true. Then the high priest asked Jesus a direct question. He said, Jesus, tell us if you're the Christ, the Son of the Blessed One. And for the first time in that trial, Jesus answered. He said, yes, I am. I am the Christ, the Son of the Blessed One. And Jesus told the high priest and everybody in that courtyard, I tell you the truth, you will see the Son of Man sitting on the clouds of heaven and coming to judge. They would see Jesus again. Right now, they're trying to judge Jesus, but a day is coming at the last day when Jesus will be their judge and the judge of all people. When the high priest heard Jesus say that, he accused Jesus of blasphemy. He said Jesus was telling lies because he was claiming to be God. And the high priest tore his clothes and asked everybody in the courtyard, what do you think? What should happen to Jesus? And they all said, he's worthy of death. Then they took Jesus, they started to beat him up. They hit him in the head. They put a blindfold around Jesus' eyes and hit him in the head and said, prophesy, who hit you? And then the guards took Jesus and beat him too. Jesus was being condemned and beaten up just because he was telling the truth. He was telling the truth that he is the Christ. While Jesus was in the courtyard telling the truth, Peter was around the fire with those enemies and started to feel some pressure. A servant girl came up and said, Surely you were with that Nazarene Jesus. Peter said, No, I wasn't. I don't even know the man. Peter got uncomfortable. He got up from the fire and went over to the edge of the courtyard, but he couldn't get away from the pressure. They found him again and said, Surely you were with Jesus. And again, Peter said, No, I wasn't. I don't even know the man. Third time they put pressure on Jesus. You have to be with Jesus because you speak like a Galilean up north. Surely you were with Jesus. And then Peter took an oath. He said, may God condemn me if I know this man. I don't know this man. After Peter said that, a rooster crowed. And Peter remembered what Jesus had said. Peter, before the rooster crows, you will disown me three times. Peter realized what he had done. How he had let down Jesus, disappointed Jesus. How he had actually denied even knowing Jesus. And he went outside and he cried. He was so sad about what had happened, he felt bad about his sin. There are some important lessons to be learned around the fire. 
we should be really careful that we don't get all arrogant and say we'd never deny Jesus. We should not rely on our own strength. When we do that, we're, we're in danger. We're going to fall because we don't have the strength to resist sin on our own. We need Jesus. And that's the most important lesson from around the fire. Jesus told the truth in the court of the high priest. He said he is the Christ, the Son of the Blessed One. He's on the clouds of heaven and he will come back to judge the world. And that person who's coming back to judge the world is our Savior, Jesus Christ. He died on the cross for our sins. The next day, he took away all of our sins on the cross. And by his telling the truth and by his dying for our sins, he took away our sins and gave us righteousness. Because he told the truth, our sins are covered and we're forgiven children of God. I'm so thankful Jesus told the truth. We pray that Jesus forgives us for all the times we have not told the truth. And we pray that he helps us to tell the truth in our life, especially to tell the truth that Jesus is the Christ. He's the Son of God. He's the Savior of the world. Let's pray around the fire. We thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for telling the truth, the truth about yourself, the truth about us. Thank you for being willing to suffer and die for our sins. Thank you for telling us the truth that we are forgiven because of what you did for us. Help us also to tell the truth about you, to tell the good news about you in this world, because you want everyone to know the truth and believe and be saved. Amen. Thanks for joining me around the fire tonight. We'll see you next week for the next devotion. God bless your evening.